Hey everybody, this is Brent from textwall.blogspot.com showing you um, open beta, the intro I have to macros and scripting. Just going to show you the stuff that I've discovered just in the, the day or two that I tried to poke around under the hood and see what was going on here. So jumping right in, you can see I've unlocked my chat window and drag it out real big so you can see everything here. And I'm going to show you by right clicking on a tab and picking command list, uh, any tab, you can uh, choose command list and see a whole list of all the commands in the game. These are the slash commands that you can enter in the chat box and execute uh, whatever it is that they do. I haven't fully explored the whole list. Have fun doing that yourself to see what some, most of them do. Some of them don't do anything. Some of them require parameters, extra commands on the back end. But it, go ahead and explore those. Um, I also show you here a list of uh, I think 70, 70 something plus emotes. These are slash, you know, slash wave, slash warhammer, and they all do uh, different things, and I'll demonstrate some of those in a bit. But over 200 and some odd commands in the uh, in that list, and then 70 plus um, emotes listed there as well. Um, maybe there's a list out somewhere already. I'm sure there probably is. But what you can see me doing now is taking advantage of one of the commands called script slash script. I passed uh, an API command to the script to the script. Um, command and was able to open the macro window. I'll have all this posted on my blog at uh, textball.blogspot.com with uh, enhanced screenshots so you can really see the detail because I know in this video you may not be able to see a lot of this text that I'm typing. But I closed that uh, macro window and then to open it if I'd forgotten that command you can hit shift up arrow when you have uh, your chat box open and um, you can cycle through all the commands that you've entered. That shift up arrow does that. But now I've reopened the macro window and um, now I'm just going to select a macro and just put in some sample text and, and I'll start showing you what some of that stuff does. Some, some of the possibilities for things that you can do. But um, you, you can type in what you want your text to be, what you want the name of the macro to be, what you want the uh, icon to look like. There's a limited set of icons you can pick from uh, when you make your macro. And um, I'll change this one to these arrows here. And when I save it, you can see it updates. And then you drag it, uh, then you drag it from your window onto your hotbar, and you can execute whatever script commands are stored in there, uh, or slash commands. And um, you can shift right click to take that off of your hotbar, which I just did just to demonstrate that. So I'll put it back here on the hotbar. And um, as I click it, you can see that it um, says, um, you know, whatever, you know, you can hit slash say hello or testing or wah or whatever you want and it'll, you know, you saw the little chat bubble pop up there as I click that. So um, that's one way to kind of do some some freestyle type macros. Probably one of the more useful ones I saw. There's several good commands in there. There's slash follow, there's slash assist, so you can make an assist macro. Uh, you can make a follow macro to, you know, just one click button press and, and um, and follow someone. You see here I just did the the uh, an emote, a Y emote, and, and here I'm just updating it and showing you a few different things. Here's the, this one's actually animated, that emote that I just did from the button. So you can see I, all I'm doing is updating it and saving and it automatically, I don't have to drag it again to my hotbar, it automatically saves it. I made another one because um, for a long time in beta I couldn't even figure out how to open the macro window. So as soon as I figured that out from looking at the API documentation, I stored that script command in a macro and now I have a macro to open my macro window. So you see if I close it, I hit this and I uh, can just reopen it. So now I have a, a, a macro sitting on my hotbar that I can open my macro window. So um, Later in a bit, you know, after I shot this video, I figured out <laughs> a, a more simple way to do it and I will show you that. But nonetheless this this works so but it does illustrate the point that you can store an, an advanced script command inside of a macro and do some pretty uh, do some pretty neat things um, in my testing I was only able to execute one line at a time so it wasn't like I could do slash say wah and then slash emote wah at the same time it would only do one command at a time and it gave me uh, an error message to the effect of hey slow down you're talking too fast or something like that because I was trying to execute too many commands in a macro so I think that might be Mythic's way of controlling uh, mac the macro and scripting system being able to automate too much uh, but that's you know much smarter people than I will investigate this and be able to you know give us all feedback on exactly 
the ins and outs of what can be done with the macros because this is just a basic look. Um, you know, another thing I did was uh, I just made a macro that would uh, that could toggle open my bags, and I gave it a bag icon. And um, you can see that um, you have several different uh, icons to choose from, like I showed you before, and and in several different slots there's a slider that'll slow down, that'll that'll scroll down and there's probably I'll have to go back and count but there's probably space for 20 20 plus more uh macros if you uh if you choose to make that many uh you probably make more than you have actual hot bar space for but um here I am just uh you know clicking through trying to make a few examples of the things you can do you can do some targeting like I can uh you see here um, when I click my uh, portrait or uh, click a, a, an enemy or an NPC, you can see how. I've, and actually, let me de detail for, de detour for a minute and show you that um, I changed my UI, my targeting, my uh, um, self-portrait and the target portrait are down here on the, the left and the right of my uh, character. But you can see me hitting this macro now, and it targets myself. And I was just clicking around and targeting a few different things to show you that but you can make a target self or target other person by name macro there's a whole lot of flexibility and a whole lot of things you can do it's a pretty powerful system and I'll try to get into more detail on my blog so be sure you go there and uh, check out the post coming up real soon probably right about the time I release this video so that's uh, first look at uh, scripting and macros